Well, if you think hunting down a rare, ferocious leopard is dangerous, consider having to do it inside an actual war zone. That's exactly what one brave tracker is doing to help keep the species alive. ABC's TJ Winnick brings us this daring into the wild. In the world's most dangerous place, Boone Smith is on a mission. This is a big risk. And is it justified to potentially get killed to catch a cat? Not just any cat, the world's most elusive big cat, the snow leopard of Afghanistan. This was my holy grail for animals I wanted to catch. He's a live wire. Smith, a fourth generation big cat trapper from Idaho. You with me? I'm starting her. Has been challenged by the Wildlife Conservation Society and USAID to capture and color a snow leopard in just 20 days. They're borderline mythical, legendary. If you can't look at a snow leopard and appreciate it for what it is and the terrain and environment it survives in, you're missing something. They are highly endangered predators, targeted by poachers for their pelts and killed by farmers for attacking their livestock. They're now believed to be between 100 and 200 in Afghanistan, so finding one is not an easy task, especially in a war-torn country where roving packs of Taliban fighters are always a threat. So this would be the valley up here. Welcome to the Wakhan Corridor, a mountainous border region in northeastern Afghanistan. This is snow leopard country. Among those on Boone's experienced team, tracker Hussein Ali and fellow trapper John Goodrich. Trapping's a game of odds. We're trying to predict the exact spot a cat would put his foot. To catch their big cat, they must set a series of snares. And now we camouflage our snare loop and the pit. Then there's the transmitter, which will alert the team when an animal is caught in the snare. Once it is set, all there is to do is wait. There's a fast signal, beep, 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 beep. It's the middle of the night when the team gets the signal they've been waiting for just six hours after setting the snare. Can you see eyes? Yeah, yeah, I see eyes. You see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we want to go very, very slow. Okay, okay. Okay, we're not in a hurry. We want to be safe. We want to make sure it's okay. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, yeah, exciting. But we got to be cool. We got to be cool. So just. This is the moment of truth. Is it a fox or could it be the elusive snow leopard? It's a snow leopard. Snow leopard? It's a snow leopard. Let me call it in. It's up on yeah, the rhino. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We got to get it darted first. Beautiful. Once the cat is hit with a tranquilizer dart, it's a race against time. The team has one hour to complete a full exam and to attach the satellite collar, which will fall off after 13 months of collecting valuable data. The opportunity to study one of these creatures is just so extraordinary. Every measurement, every observation, it's precious. Seven on width. The men retreat to a safe distance as the big cat regains consciousness. He's a little wobbly as he wakes up, but he regains his footing just in time. We feel a responsibility for an animal we collared. We've, we've taken some liberties with it, obviously, and we're justifying that because of what we're gonna gain back in the big picture of conservation. Over the next few days, data pours in from the satellite collar. By tracking the leopard's movements, wildlife experts have already been able to protect the farm animals big cats often prey on. So one of the things that we've been able to do with the collared snow leopards that we have already is to notify villagers when the snow leopards are approaching villages so that they can get their livestock in and protect it. With just 2,000 snow leopards believed to be prowling the planet, the cat's own survival is just as big a priority. And in a country where 80% of its inhabitants live off the land, Understanding the snow leopard means understanding this volatile ecosystem, one of the keys to rebuilding Afghanistan. For Nightline, I'm TJ Winnick in New York. Mm, gorgeous. Big Cat Week begins this Sunday, December 9th, with snow leopards of Afghanistan on Nat Geo Wild.